the standard penetration test familiarly known as SPT. The most extensively popularly used penetrometer or sounding test in India and many other countries like USA especially for cohesionless soils which cannot be cannot be easily sampled. The test is extremely useful for determining the relative density and angle of shearing resistance of cohesionless soils and also used to determine the unconfined compressive strength of cohesive soils by correlating with penetration resistance. IS2131 gives the standard procedure for carrying it out the test. The primary requirement is the borehole. The borehole is advanced to the required depth at the bottom cleaned. The drilling bit is detached from the drilling rod and split spoon sampler is attached for required length and lowered down into the borehole and rested at the bottom. The split spoon sampler is driven into the soil for a distance of 450 mm by blows of a drop hammer. A drop hammer weight is 65 kg falling vertically and freely from the height of 750 mm. The number of blows required to penetrate every 150 mm is recorded while driving the sampler. To ensure the penetration marking on the drilling rod is made. The first 150 mm penetration of the sampler is considered as seating drive where n value is discarded because disturbed soil is present. The second 150 mm penetration and the third 150 mm penetration blow counts are recorded as n values at that particular depth of the borehole. The split spoon sampler is then withdrawn at its end is detached from the drill rod. The split barrel is disconnected from the cutting shoe and the coupling. The soil collected inside the split barrel is carefully collected so as to preserve the natural moisture content by sealing it in the polythene bags or wax is coated, applied on the exposed surface and transported to the laboratory for testing. Likewise, the SPT test is carried out at every 0.75 meters to 1.5 meters vertical intervals in the borehole. The boring log shows refusal and the test is halted if first one. 50 blows are required for any 150 mm penetration. Second one, 100 blows are required for 300 mm penetration. Third one, 10 successive blows produce no advance in penetration of the sample. To carry out SPT test, perfections are required like the drilling rod which we are using should not be in a bent condition. The split spoon sampler must be in the good condition where cutting shoe must be free from wear and tear. The drop hammer must be of the right weight and fall should be free frictionless and vertical. The height of the fall must be exactly 750 mm if any change will affect the n value. The bottom of the borehole must be properly cleaned before the test is carried out. When the test is carried out in sandy soil below groundwater table, it must be ensured that the water level in the borehole is always maintained slightly above the groundwater level. Quick condition may develop in the soil and very low n values may be recorded in split 
in spite of all this spt is still extensively used because the test is simple and relatively economical the spt n value obtained in the field for sand have to be corrected before they are used in the empirical correlations and design charts is2131 recommends the field values of n be corrected for two effects namely first one effect of overburden pressure and the effect of dilatancy the correction is over here thank you